everybody, welcome to Honors English 3. I'm Mr. Gregson. This is my cat, Tucson. <laughs> oh. uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, this is the uh, syllabus video, the introduction video for the semester. Um, we're going to be going over kind of expectations, the schedule for the class, the attendance policy, all that stuff. Um, so let's start with my email. It's up at the top here. Luke underscore Gregson at URCharter.org. Below that is the classroom page. Um, below that is the Google Classroom code. Um, I will be on campus for all of your tutoring needs on Thursdays from 10 to 2. Okay, so make sure you are scheduling an appointment with me before you uh, just show up because um, we can only have 10 people in the class at a time so yeah let me know when you're coming and then my virtual office hours where you can reach me um, are Thursday from 4 to 6 um, here's my goal for the semester English 3 is American literature um, it's my favorite to read and to study. Um, I think the stories of a people are really their heartbeat. And stories tell us so much about the bigger history and context for why um, we are. Uh, why our country acts and looks the way it does. Um, so... We're going to be reading a ton of fiction, poetry, myth, legend, some religion, um, and a lot of history, too, to really give us a deeper perspective on what it means to be American. How do we tell stories? How do those stories shape us and expand us? And what makes these stories uniquely American? Okay, um, attendance policy. I know it's weird because clearly... Um, we're doing this on the internet, um, but here's how we have to check that you are actually logging in, um, or here's how I'm going to do it. Every morning at 8 a.m., you will wake up on your Google Classroom to either a question, reflection, quick write, um, or a response that you will respond to by midnight to receive your daily attendance credit. Um, you might be responding to a poem, a short story, a movie clip, a song. Um, you should respond thoughtfully and thoroughly to the question or receive the daily credit. So that means no sentence long answers. Okay, give me a little bit more than that. Um, occasionally we might have Zoom meetings. Uh, and in that case, the Zoom meeting will take place of your attendance for that day. But... Make sure you keep up with these posts. Um, once a post expires, so after midnight, you will not be able to make up the day. Um, so you have eight in the morning until midnight to complete that um, daily post. Okay. All right, weekly expectations. Google Classroom is like the, the big primary way that you'll be receiving information and assignments from me and also the place where you'll be turning in assignments. Um, check that every day. So you can get that attendance credit and also um, to keep you updated about things going on in the class. Um, I won't spend too long on this one, but be conscious of everyone in the classroom. I know it's online, um, but um, my expectation of you is to be courteous, is to be kind uh, and open, and respectful. Um, a failure to do that will result in grade penalties, more work. If it's bad enough, maybe a referral to Mr. Weed and Mr. Green. Um, I don't foresee this happening, but if it does, those are your consequences. Um, stay kind and patient. That's all I can ask. All right, here's a big one. The semester will not be like the spring semester in that 
poor work or missing work will absolutely affect your grade. A zero is a zero. Um, so make sure that you're keeping up with the work, all right? Um, yeah, I, the spring semester was so chaotic and crazy, it looked completely different. Um, your expectations are so much higher this time around. Um, not doing your work will tank you really fast, so make sure you're keeping up with it. Um, if you do miss a weekly assignment, not a daily assignment, but the assignment that I give you from Monday to Friday, if you um, miss the deadline, you have three days to make that up. Um, after the three days are up, that's it. Gates closed. Sorry. Um, you will be penalized every day. I'm not giving you an A for work that was supposed to be done three days ago. So make sure you're keeping up with it. Um, let's see. This is a literature course. That means we'll be reading a lot. Um, as you read, I really want you to start thinking about the literature in a deeper way. I want you to start examining how you feel about it, um, thoughts you have. Um, do you like the piece? Do you understand it? Um, these are questions you should be asking and bringing to the classroom conversations that we'll be having. Um, I will try my best to have like online PDF copies of, of these plays and novels um, for you, but there might be times where you'll have to come in on a Thursday to pick up a physical copy and check it out. Um, but if you're having a really hard time finding some of the literature, I will absolutely get a copy um, of that book in your hands. So don't worry about it, but talk to me, okay? Email me if you are having a hard time finding it. Plagiarism. Mm. Um, the goal of this class is for you to become a better thinker, a better writer, and a better reader, and a better person. Um, First offense will result in a verbal warning and a zero on the assignment um, until you can rewrite the assignment um, and an extra essay. So that's a lot of work. Second offense will result in an automatic zero with no chance of a redo and a referral to the front office. Um, plagiarism is so inexcusable and it's so avoidable. Um, if you need help with your writing, come see me on Thursdays, right? Uh, email me. I will totally help you. That's what I'm here for. That's why the state of North Carolina pays me the big bucks, right? Um, and also, guys, I can sniff out a plagiarized paper from 10 miles away, okay? They called me Eagle Eyes Gregson. I can smell that. That thievery okay so don't do it because the hammer's coming down if you do um yeah do your own work uh materials you need for the class computer with internet connection and an open mind willing to change and grow um here's the semester schedule it might change i don't know i change stuff stuff a lot um on the fly you know it's like jazz uh, next week we'll basically just be doing introduction stuff, um, doing a diagnostic, uh, I want to get to know you all better. After that, we'll be covering, uh, America, North America before the Europeans arrived. So we'll be reading about the Native Americans, about their culture, their mythology, their storytelling, um, and really examine what is American culture. Uh, after that, we'll be talking about European colonization of the Americas, uh, the literature of the beginnings of the United States, like the Declaration of Independence, um, Bill of Rights, the Constitution. Um, we'll be reading The Crucible, which is about the Salem witch trials, always fun. Um, 
yeah, talking about colonization, freedom, genocide, war and religion, all that just fun stuff, you know. After that, we'll be jumping far ahead in the future of America and talking about propaganda, rhetoric, and language, about communism, and about nuclear war, um, Joseph McCarthy, all that fun stuff that the fond folks on the history hall taught you. Um, we'll be reading a lot of cool um, speeches and poetry and, yeah, all that good stuff. After that, we'll move into the Civil Rights era. Um, the literature that helped African-American folks in this country um, overcome oppression and um, violence. And we'll talk about how race, class, and gender play such an important role in this country um, and how it's drastically changed over the years. Um, next era, we'll talk about Vietnam. Uh, I love teaching about Vietnam. I think it's a fascinating um, uh, fascinating subject. We'll be reading The Things They Carried, one of my favorite books of all time, and just talking about how war kind of weighs on the human spirit and weighed on the American spirit, still does. Um, next one, we'll be talking about the American dream, uh, how that looks for so many different types of people. We'll be reading um, Great Gatsby and Of Mice and Men. And then finally, the nuclear world. What is the future of America? Where are we headed? Um, We'll be reading Kurt Vonnegut, uh, Slaughterhouse Five, throw a little science fiction in the mix there. So, yeah, it's going to be a good semester. Um, keep an eye out for your first daily attendance uh, assignment tomorrow morning on Google Classroom, and email me if you have any questions. Bye, y'all.